So, uh, I haven't been feeling good the last couple weeks. And I really haven't been doing shit to anything. Just like some watermelons I've made and stuff like that. But I haven't worked on this truck. I haven't gotten started. Like the day we're gonna drive it out, like it's ready. It has fucking just temporary lights to fucking be able to drive it in the street. And it just didn't want to shift out of first. Because everything has to fight me. Nothing can go my way. <laughs> it's just life. You know, it was too easy. <laughs> it's just like, nah, you know what, motherfucker? It's just too easy. I built this shit in less than a year. I've been driving it fucking like every day, like up and down the street, you know, testing it. Just I've been driving it while we're doing the body work. The day we're fucking gonna just take the bitch and stop shifting. And um, it stopped shifting after a fucking oil change and filter change. Which a lot of people say with these Ford transmissions that come with the 5.0s. That the fucking... That problem can happen. Which is just bullshit. Because... It's probably gonna fail. I'm gonna have to bring the charger out here because I had charged that battery. But I probably didn't charge right. Watch. Uh, God damn it. I forgot I have the glass from a fucking other car in here. You know, it's bad for a car when it's been parked, you haven't started it, and you start storing shit in it. Okay, I can hear the fuel pump. Let's pump. Uh, there's not enough juice in that battery. Better in my blue car. Which might just be a bad ground, you know. Oh yeah. I'm guessing I want to start doing more on it because I'm probably out of a job. I don't know if I can hear the pump or not. I think I can. It's gonna take it a while to start because I haven't started this shit like in a month. Aw, oh, bitch. Right when I wanted to fucking start, the battery died. I'm just gonna bring the booster out here. But yeah. I don't know. Some guy was saying that all I really had to do was to fucking get the air to the lines of the transmission. Because basically, that's what happened. We fucking flushed out all the fucking lines and I guess good things fuck it up, you know. We did it as maintenance to like make it better. Just to have it ready for the street and I ended up just fucking up. No, it doesn't shift. It would just happen to me like that. But, anyway. Yeah. This bitch is gonna go back to its home, I guess, pretty soon. All the stuff left to do is cosmetic. All the mechanical shit. It's pretty much done for. I'm 
just gonna get the battery for my fucking Chrysler and put it in that bitch because I'm just fed up with this battery shit. Honestly, I have like 20 fucking car batteries. And now not one bitch works. It's like, what the fuck? Um. was telling you people haven't been motivated to work and shit. Been feeling ill. Which is crazy because after it crashed my fucking truck I had like I don't know how many like 200 staples on my head and all that shit that happened and then just after that I've been feeling like shit a lot but lately I've just been getting like massive headaches and shit kind of feels like I need to go get an x-ray or something and I think that's what I'm gonna do I have a fucking appointment on the 17th I don't like doctors but past two weeks I feel like I've been losing motor skills and shit like that so I don't know it's interesting I wonder what I hate about fucking doctors though is that I have a fucking appointment on the 17th, like a month after I went to that shit. And that's just to talk to a fucking doctor. I mean, to talk to a fucking insurance bitch. I don't see a doctor until I don't know what. I just never give up that place to the doctor shit. If I start feeling better, fuck the doctor. This fucking battery is way <laughs> crazy. Man, this bitch hasn't started in like a month and a half. It's a fucking fuel injected 5.0. I look old, but it's a new car. <laughs> I'm telling you, this bitch runs smooth. It's just that fucking shifting shit. Just all of a sudden. And it should just be something simple, because like I said, it was shifting perfectly. We fucking drained the oil, put a new transmission and filter, and bomb, doesn't shift at a first. Just like that, same day. It's fucking working in the morning. You know, it's not broken. You try to fix it, and then it doesn't work. Not saying that maintenance, maintenance your fucking transmission is a bad thing either. <laughs> Don't quote me on that shit. I wonder if I can get out of here though. This is 
doesn't want to shift out of first. Like right there, shift it, but it just feels off or something. But it has wells, man. This truck has wells. Honestly, we're gonna take it to a fucking strip. It better run 12s. I don't know, maybe 14s. <laughs> but it's super light. I wanna say it's like fucking less than 2,000 pounds. Honestly. Just because what we did to it and how fucking old it is. get stuck and we fucking opened it cleaned out the governor and it wasn't that and then some guy said that the fucking TV valve which is the fucking throttle cable valve that it can get stuck in open position so I need to check that does anybody know about transmissions fucking the Ford AOD is the model of transmission all right so There just goes into second it's really like sticky man that went to second though so it's better than not going into second i don't want to keep fucking with it though the belt just squeaks a fuck lord it's annoying but it's gonna be fast it's fast but you know little hiccups along the way we have those fucking two inch spikes holding the window in fucking trips people out um, we have the fucking cluster and all the gauges, but like I said, that shit just comes in secondary. Look, I still gotta fucking tuck in all this wiring because I had to remove it because I thought I had a bad ground, but I didn't. It's just a fucking mind fuck. But that's just what happens when you try to build shit. I'm surprised though. We started building it last August, so it's like about a year, barely. And this bitch is running, it has lights. It's got fucking pretty much everything. This whole shifting bullshit was keeping me from being able to have this homeboy go get the plates and shit. And like the whole front end, we have it. We're just gonna put the fenders on later. But that's how it ran. You guys saw it. Like it idled smoothly and everything. I mean, it's just the whole the transmission acting all stupid. And like I said, one day it was working. We fucking did the transmission oil change. Change the filter. Filled up the fluid. Wouldn't shift on a fucking first. And then if you manually shift it, it shifts into second, but it feels all fucking forzado still. Like it won't go into third or I don't know what the deal though is. But there you have it. needs tons of body work we have to do some paneling in the back of the truck still we need to do a cover this shit is intense involved labor all the details but i don't know you might just drive off like this and just leave it alone forever typical huh that's it